This is a production of Cornell University. This year I'm here to introduce the new Associate Vice President for Alumni Affairs, Chris Marshall. Chris came to Cornell from Lehigh University, a venerable institution, his alma mater, and his employer for the past 20 years. I hope. <laughs> I know we have a few Lehigh spouses in the audience. Raise your hand if you're Lehigh spouse. There must be a few more or two. Oh, well, there. Okay. Um, you said it's your sons and daughters to Lehigh. How about that? Yeah, there you go. See, so there's a real kind of figure here. We already know that going. Anyway, I hope that many of you had a chance to meet Chris this weekend. His first day on the job was earlier this week, and he's jumped in with both feet to be part of both uh, class events and university reunion events. Chris is a well-respected alumni leader, uh, both among the Lehigh University constituents as well as among American college and university peers. The search committee chaired by Cornell trustee Karen Rupert Keating was unanimous in the choice of Chris to take the reins as the new head of alumni affairs at Cornell. So as I pass the baton to Chris, Hello, Cornelius. Yeah. I want to see it when I hear it, when I feel it. You will. Thank you so much, Mary. Indeed, my honor. paper he handed me. Cornell University men's lightweight crew, coached by Todd Kennett, 91, captured their third straight national championship. <laughs>
here celebrating your fifth year reunion. I am here tonight celebrating my fifth day reunion. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing like jumping right into the fire. After 24 years at Lehigh, I would tell people that I would bleed brown and white, which if you don't know, Lehigh school colors are brown and white. But after three days of intense <laughs> Reunion rehabilitation. <laughs> I can now tell you that I bleed proudly big red blood. <laughs> I have a couple things I have to do given the role I'm in. And the first one is this Corneliana is one of the most enjoyable traditions that Cornell celebrates each year. We're here for an hour of fun, recognition, and wonderful music of the Cornell Alumni League Club and Chorus. Let's hear it for them. Great job, so <laughs> Send me an email, let me know, call me, whatever you want. I want to hear those great comments. If you have any complaints, Margaret Gallo is here. She's happy to take all the, the advice you can give. And on behalf of uh, President Scorton and Charlie Flager, our VP for Advancement, we want to thank the staff that worked so hard. The Alumni Affairs and Development staff worked really hard to put this weekend together. You see them all over the place. I want to thank them. And for David and Charlie and Margaret, let's hear it for our staff. <laughs> Thanks, Mark. And finally, but certainly not least, and finally, is made, this night is made possible to the contributions by the contributions of many people. Inspiration dedication of our Cornell Chorus and Glee Club Director, Professor Scott Tucker. Let's hear it for yeah. Scott. Yeah. If the president gets a chant, you get the keys. What do I get? I need some love. There we go. <laughs> I was a swim coach for 12 years, so I need a little bit of love up here. But throughout the school year, he fulfills the roles of professor, mentor, and choral director to hundreds of Cornell students. Please join me in giving Scott another special round of applause for his contributions to Cornell. Let's hear it for Scott one more time, of course. Uh <laughs> Rookie mistake, I gave Scott two rounds of applause. Now it's my great pleasure to turn the program over to Scott. I'll see you at the end. Thank you all very much, Cornell.
has this been a fantastic reunion. Oh. You know, with weather like this, I think Ithaca, New York will soon be known as the Caribbean of North America. <laughs> I'm Carol Slanian, class of 1963. It's our 45th reunion, so I'm happy to be here and happy to be president of the Cornell Alumni Association of Court of Class Officers, also known as CACO. And I'm pleased to be here tonight to celebrate all that is Cornell. You know, reunion is all about alumni coming back to Cornell, each one of you. We're delighted that so many of you have returned from near and far. Among all our alumni who are back this weekend, there is one distinct group that we're welcoming back this year. The group is alumni back for their very first reunion, be it their fifth reunion or their 75th. If you're attending your first Cornell reunion, would you please stand up and would you all please join me in welcoming the
program, we will pay special tribute to our most senior alumni classes, starting with the most recent graduates in this group. Celebrating their 60th reunion, the class of 1948, with 97 classmates, will you please stand?
being totally unruffled, let's, we're going to re go back to our senior alumni classes because we've got some many more tributes to make. All right, it's the class of 1943 celebrating its 65th reunion with 40 classmates. Where are you? reunion, 15 classmates have returned for the weekend. and friends 
Matt family members and friends registered for this reunion 2008. Now this is for Charlie Flager. In addition, the 2008 reunion campaigns have raised, are you ready? $53 million from 7,519 reunion class members. Let's give ourselves a call. we've got to congratulate ourselves on these two major achievements. And to review more outstanding achievements, I've asked the Cornell Glee Club and Chorus to sing my report to you, because I know that's much more fun. <laughs> and, and they can't wait to do it, with a caveat that not all the details could be included for every class, because the lines wouldn't rhyme. For the full report of fundraising results by each class, please look over your program. Scott, back to you. Thank you. 
go to my classes whenever I please. I frequent the bars and bartenders as well. You see, I've not been a waste in my time at Cornell. has me quite annoyed. I'm magna cum laude, but still unemployed. Thank you. 